Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for being here with me again today. Um, sorry, I was running late. Sharon and I had planned to do this at three o'clock and then um, because I'm always running late, I bumped it back to 330. Thank you so much for being here. I'm hoping the glare in my glasses is not too severe. Um, if it is, please let me know. Hold on. I'm trying to um, get in here, not share screen. I want to invite share. Okay, so I'm going to copy the link. She She's having um, technical trouble. So therefore, um, she couldn't come in here live with me. But you know, Cher Sprosson is a wonderful lady. I'm trying to see how I can get to my live chat. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put up the link right now for Cher to join in. Um, there we go. And later in the stream, maybe I could have someone else jump in here if you feel like chatting with us. Um, Cher, I hope you got it. Let me know if you don't. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Maya. Hi, listen to me, Smitty. And there is Cher. Okay, it looks like she's coming on. I'm going to add her to the stream. Cher, are you there? Oh, no, I hope she is. I don't know why she wouldn't be. Um, Cher, are you okay with it? Text me if you want me to uh, find my phone. There we go. Do, 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 do. Cher, if you cannot get in, um, please let me know in chat right away. I'm sorry. Again, I'm so new to this and I'm making all kinds of um, mistakes. Thank you, Marie. Um, hi, listen to me. Hi, everybody. Rambling hick. Hello. <laughs> Hello. We're doing fine. Um, JD, Maya, Dorothy. Um, let's see here. Robin McDonald. Hello, everyone. I really appreciate you guys tuning into my baby channel here. I'm trying to grow a little bit and, you know, get better at what I do. And every day is a learning process because I don't quite know. There, at least we can get rid of that glare behind me. Maybe. There is that better? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but anyway, today I'm going to be talking with Cher. Cher, are you, um, you know, I'm going to kick you out and try one more time. Oh, she kicked herself out. Um, anyway, the point of today, we, we're going to be talking about Rhonda Glover a little bit. And also Cher is, she. I swear she's like a private detective and an, an ace attorney. She's amazing. And she's been helping different people who are either wrongfully accused of a crime or they're wrongly incarcerated um, or both. And Rhonda is one of those people. And I dearly love Rhonda. She's a poor woman. She um, was accused of um, murdering her, her ex in cold blood. It wasn't in cold blood. It was definitely in self-defense. As I always refer to Shannon Watts, Shannon Watts rather, if she had a gun that day, she would have definitely um, been able to defend herself and she would have been in the same place as Rhonda Glover, but she would have been alive and I believe her children would have been alive as well. Um, let's see here. I'm getting new comments, but no share yet. Um, let's see. Okay, we're going to try again. Hi, share. Come on in. And I see no icon, but um, Cher, do you want me to try to send you that link again another way? I don't know. Not to detect. Mm, I don't know. Hmm. I'm sorry. Technical trouble. I know Cher was having trouble with StreamYard, and we kicked around the idea of doing this through um, 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 through Zoom, but every time I've been on Zoom with another creator, I've had such trouble with it myself from my end. I don't know why. Um, let's see, Cher, are you there? Add to stream. We'll try it again. And I don't know if it's her internet giving her trouble or... Well, anyway, as you can see, I've changed my banner to say Murder, She Writes with Tanya Hagen. I'm going to change the name of my channel as soon as I figure out how to, <laughs> believe me, I am a technical um, baby. As soon as I figure out how to um, make my channel be a public 
a thing rather than what I set it up as years ago to simply talk about my books. And it was a private, regular channel for a person. I need to figure out how to go branded with it. And there is a way, but with my luck, I am terrified of deleting all of my lovely subscribers and all of my previous um, broadcasts by doing this. Um, voices, you should be here. Cher, oh Cher, where are you, my dear? I love Cher. She's like a sister. Hold on. She's calling me. Hold on. Hey, Cher, I'm on live. What's up? I was going to say, for some reason, it's not letting me on, so just put me on speaker or something. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's put Cher on speaker. Can you guys? Okay. I'm not sure how they do the link the other way. I'll have to find out from my buddy and see because it's not working. You're the only live I can't get on. I don't know what's going on. That is so odd. Can everyone hear Cher? Can you let me know if you can hear her? Um. Very good. Yeah, she, right, Maya. Cher did have luck going in on a different channel. Um, and ben, I don't know how he posted the link, though, because he, I don't know, it was a bunch of crap he had to do to how he posted it in there, so I'm not sure if he posted it in well, the I did. I could, hold on, let me try one more thing. Um, I don't know if I can quickly go to Facebook and give you the link that way. Can you, okay, Cher, try this. I'm going to post the link again in the chat. Um, can you copy it and then paste it into your browser? So go out of YouTube or wherever you're located and copy it. So copy the link, then open whatever browser you, you surf the internet with and paste the link there and try to go in that way. Can you try that? Yeah, try that. I'll try that. Otherwise, we'll do the speaker phone. We'll just do it. Can anyone hear her? Are, we, are you guys okay? Um. Share? Right, I'll try it then and I'll call you back and then if it doesn't work, we'll just, just keep me on speaker and they can ask whatever. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Right. Talk to you in a minute, hon. Bye. So much for that. Um, Purple Master, does Cher think CW is wrongly convicted? No, she, I don't believe she does. Um, Chris Watts is not one of the people who she's fighting for. As everyone knows, I believe that he was correctly convicted and that he is serving the appropriate sentence. Um, now, some people tell me, you know, very vocally, a lot of a lot of my friends and colleagues tell me that perhaps N.K. was involved as well. Um, I don't want to persecute or prosecute an innocent woman. And I think she's innocent. I'm, she's not very, um, I don't know that she's very bright with what she did. Let's try share one more time. But I do think that N.K. did not commit a murder and she's she's also not guilty of being an accessory after the fact. I, I think she was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. And what she did with having the affair with a married man was very, very, very wrong. Um, now we're trying again and again, and she just can't get in. I'm so sorry, Cher. We can do the speakerphone thing if that's our only option. Um, she's trying. This is not permitted in the United States Constitution of America. Listen to me. I'm not sure um, we hear not the best quality, but it'll be good since we hear both of you. Thank you, Maya. I appreciate that. Um, Cher, if you want to just call me again, we could try it that way. And everyone will have to look at my ugly face for a while. Hold on. Cher, are you there? Yeah, it's not working for me for some reason. I don't oh, know that's what it okay. Is. That's okay. I'm going to remove your ghost here from the screen. <laughs> oh, my. Everybody has to look at a big version of me. Ooh, lovely. Um, oh, you're but, fine. Oh, <laughs> you're gorgeous. So I'd rather have your pretty face up here. But um, anyway, no, people are asking me if you think that Chris Watts was wrongly convicted or wrongly sentenced or anything like that. And I, I said, I don't believe you do. I'm pretty sure. No. no. Okay, good. No. Okay. So what I meant about that. So someone had asked, what do I do? I said, I advocate for wrongfully convicted people. So I think they thought I was talking about Chris Watts since it's one of the topics we discussed. Sure. And but, that's right. That I put that up too as well. And I always talk yeah. about how you work for the wrongly convicted or the wrongly so, accused even. Um, right. I believe the gentleman. And their families and everyone involved because, it, you know, it's not just that one person. Like, it's not just Chris Watts. He's the one who did the crime, right? But it's yes. about, look at all the family that 
They lost an entire family. They did. Chris is in prison. Mm-hmm. The wife is dead. Two children are dead. And the baby boy she was supposed to have is gone also. You lost an entire family of people. Right. And it's not just about Chris Watts' feelings. It's no. everyone else involved. No. I know. And if, if by some stroke of, you know, whatever, a miracle, he wasn't um, actually guilty of what he's accused of, then I'm assuming we'll be able to go, um, you know, people are going to be able to find out that information. There are a lot of people doing a lot of research trying to prove or disprove whether or not Nicole Kessinger was involved. I don't think she was. Okay, I'm going to say no. Okay. And obviously I've been starting to defend her, so I've gotten some flack for that. Right. I'm still going to go with no. And I can't even say, well, people are saying she was a homewrecker, and I honestly can't even say she's guilty of that. Sure. Because with Chris and Shanann's life, he had a whole bedroom downstairs in the basement. So she had seen, like, it, it looked like they were separated. And Shanann was gone all the time with the kids. So you you have this guy who, didn't he, like, start hitting on her first anyway? Like he, I don't know. If I look at the emails, the very early emails from when they started, her, yeah. it, you know, it's kind of both ways. And she even said to him, I don't want to start anything out of respect for you and your family. And, you know, um, there, right. I don't want to start anything beyond emails and talking at work. So whether right. or not that was genuine, I don't know. Um, and again, NK has, you know, she's not very likable necessarily, but the only, um, the only view to who she is and what she is comes to us from her interrogation tapes, you know, when the, when the, um, police department or whoever was talking to her. And that didn't make her look good at all. I have to say that, but also like you and I have talked about before, Mm -hmm. If you have never been in any kind of trouble before, like, I'm not sure if she's got any kind of criminal past or if she's ever been, I don't know, maybe she stopped with one day and went to jail. I don't know. I don't know if she has any kind of past. Right. I don't either. have not had anything or been in any trouble in any kind of way. And then all of a sudden, your boyfriend murders his entire family. Right. Right. What are you going to do? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd be scared too. And deleting the text message. Like, I don't know. She just didn't want to implicate herself. She didn't know what right. she was doing. Right. And I don't believe that she did it um, in, in order to rid him from her life. I think that was pretty much understood that he's getting out of her life. I think she deleted everything so she would not look guilty of anything. And right. I'm sure she had conversations with him where she said terrible things about Shanann. And she may have even said, when are you going to be rid of her or something that would really sound sort of um, incriminating if you didn't know the situation. If you were law enforcement looking at this for the first time, it could right. look pretty fishy. Um, but she has a did- you have the FBI and all the people looking in. They can see Watts's text. You can see all the text. They've obviously pieced together what make the sense he was using sure. the game gift cards to take her out to eat and buy her things or whatever right you right know, she also said she didn't feel like she was the first woman that he had cheated on Shanann with correct right she did say that and I think there were the two people um the gentleman was his name Trent and then there's a woman I want to say her name is Amanda who both came forward and said that Chris you know had some sort of a an affair with them as well. I don't know if that's true or if they're just bandwagoning. I really don't know, but who would do that? You know, well, who would I kind of believe it because mm-hmm. Shanann was watching the credit cards for a reason. Sure. So why would a wife be watching the credit cards? I believe she even texted some of her friends. So she was watching for something and waiting for him to fuck up. And when he spent too much at a restaurant right away, she was texting him and, and complaining that's, more food than for one person what's going on so that tells me he fucked up like that before excuse my language sorry sure no you're fine he screwed up like that before and she's been waiting and watching to catch him again okay i think i agree but why he was using the gift card so that he wouldn't get caught right again right and i hate to admit this but i'm very guilty of um you know if i buy something bigger i i spread it out over a couple credit cards so my husband doesn't get mad at me but obviously i'm not having an affair (laughs) so that's something that she might just think that he was um you know spending too much money that they really couldn't afford um now purple master says nk has two duis that's a shame um he said nk that still doesn't make a murderer people that's true right 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 um 
Peggy Sue got married says, um, sure, sure, NK is just awesome, not even a homewrecker. No, I believe that. But if she didn't really know what his status and his relationship right. with Shanann was. So can she be called a homewrecker, honestly? I don't know. If she was being said, we're done, we're done, we're done. And right. Whatever. Then can she really be labeled a homewrecker? Or if she just had her own feelings? How many, come on, people. It's hard to control your feelings when if you're like if she was in love with him which oh definitely was. definitely so. and ben says um let's see here hey ben shan shan was away when chris was playing around obviously yes um robin mcdonald does anyone else want to jump on here um with Sharon and myself i'm going to post one more time the link hold on to join me here on Streamyard. Um, if you do want to jump on, please just shout out in the chat and let me know. And I will add you when I see your lovely faces come up here. And JD, get on there, girl. JD, um, Cher is asking you to get on here. Um, it does take two to lay down, cowboy car crushing. Interesting hat. I like that. Hey, cowboy. Howdy, howdy. That's cute. I love it. Um, let's see here. Um, yeah, so I've asked, well, Dorothy says, I've watched everything on the Watts case, two other people involved. Interesting. Dorothy, do you want to come on and chat with me about that? Um, I know there is a lot of circumstantial evidence. I mean, people see in the shadows or, or whatever, a woman with a ponytail. I don't <sighs> see that. No, I don't see that. Um, <clears throat> I don't think that NK was that much of, I don't. I don't know if you want to call her lazy or what you want to call her, but I don't know if she had that much gumption in her or that much of, um, I, I, I don't know what you want to call bravery to actually become involved in something so horrific. Well, did she honestly think an entire family would go unnoticed when they were all right. missing? Do you really think she'd want to be a part of that? Or right. would she honestly thought that'd be any kind of future and Chris Watts, I'm salty to it. He's doing the time in prison. Now, the death penalty was taken off uh, a few months after he was arrested, right? Or they started working on that law? It was taken off. Um, it, it was, I mean, it was removed from Colorado. I don't know when. I want to say in the new year of 2019. But that would have yeah. been after his his um, plea deal and after. Right. So he would have known. But he still accepted five life sentences mm -hmm. he knows that he is never walking out of that right. prison alive right. again are you really gonna want to do that time you wouldn't he's got a new girlfriend now from what i read in here he's got a oh, new wow. girlfriend. okay so would he not finally implicate nicole then if he was not in love with this why would he not implicate then let's go and I some people her. say that she, um she as in right Right. Like the cult threatened to sacrifice. Yeah. Who? Yeah. By he was threatened by. Oh, let me pull up some random mom here. Um. No, people are saying he was threatened by NK and her um associates or whatever you want to call them. Mm. That that his family, as in his mom and dad and his sister and others, would be killed if he didn't go along with it. I I think that's movie material. I don't think it's right. a real life scenario at all. Um, um, well, some random mom. Actually have, with that cult, I have the screenshots of the messages, and sure. I'm not sure that the cult would actually say, "Oh yeah, they're part of our cult, right?" But I have messages from that cult no. that says that she's not a part of it. Okay, she's not a part of that. Interesting. Whatever you want to call it. Interesting. Let me. We'll come back to that here um, in a second because that's very fascinating. NK knew he was married, knew he had little kids, knew she was breaking up a marriage and leaving those little girls without an intact family unit. She again, didn't care. It was all about her. her. They're separated and showing her that they aren't even in the same level of the houses or right. living bedroom. And it, you can see it all in the crime scene photos, people. So no, I how agree. would you not believe that? And then he right. said it was a financial issue why they were still living in the same house. But right. the man was always gone. Correct. And you know, I know I think it would be a tendency of a mistress to think, well, you know, the woman you're married to is not agreeable she's making your life heck and so she'd reason in her mind of course he needs me um right. which is awful and you know i'd never do it i've never done anything like that in my life but i've been married for 20 almost 
26 years here. I didn't date anyone two years prior to that, except for my husband. So I, I've never had an adult experience with, um, you know, cheating of any sort. Let's see here. Um, NK deleting text, lying to Ellie, pawn the effing ring, car parked at the Watson morning of the murders, behavior of investigation, all about her, no crying. Daddy's at the interview. Why? Well, I think, honestly... Um, Cry for what, though? She had no connection to Shannon or those kids. So what, no. What no. was for? Other than maybe losing her boyfriend to prison, but obviously you... Uh, just like Amber, she was in love with what was his name? Scott? Scott, right. So she was in love with him, right? And as soon as she found out, because she saw on the news thing, she, right away, she didn't cry. I didn't see her crying either. Right, exactly. No, I know. Um, and I, you know, if it was me, of course I would cry about the babies. And that, that seemed to be mm -hmm. when she did cry. Now right. her cry came across as being very faked and very forced, but maybe that's the way she cries. You know, I'm I mean, I, I know that I'm, I'm crying, but I don't know. I think a lot of it had to do with her voice. You know, if she had a sweet and pretty voice like Shanann, we might have accepted her better. And I don't know. You know, my daughter's right. got a little bit of a deep, scratchy voice. She had um, cysts on her, um, on her oh, vocal cords when she was a little girl, and we had them removed. And, um, but she's always had a deep, scratchy voice, so people think she's angry all the time. So she's guilty because maybe she doesn't have always the proper emotions that everybody right. else. And not everybody is built the same. I don't have the proper. I laugh when I shouldn't laugh. I don't cry sure. at things I should maybe cry at. Like I just, I'm just some people are built differently. They're not all going to be the same. She's guilty right. of not having the reactions that everybody wants her to have. Correct. I agree. Um, and, um, you know, like I said, I wear my emotions on my sleeve. I can't, you know, it doesn't matter where I am. I can't help myself. I start right. crying or whatever. Um, and Dorothy again. Oh, Dorothy. I, lo I love you. You're right. That. Let me try to go ahead and pop you in there. Um, NK deleting text line. To oh, we already, we already read that. Sorry. Um, let me take that out of there. Again, I, my brain, it, <laughs> I must have adult ADD. I don't know what it is. Um, just the fact three children, I would, cr that's correct, Dorothy. That's your new post. Yeah. I would cry as well. Um, of course, you know, I think any of us who are mothers or what, you know, whatever, who even have children in our lives, you right. would cry. I would cry and feel bad about that part too, probably. However, Nicole was not a mother. No. She, doesn't, she didn't have the connection to these children. Correct. And she has not, she's not a mother. She doesn't. And she didn't want to be one, from my understanding. She was enjoying her life. She was able to go run around the sand dunes. When her, like, she was able mm -hmm. to do what she, want, what she wanted. And some people aren't built like that. No, I know. I agree. But, I mean, I know that before I had children, my parents owned a preschool. And um, my sister-in-law already had my, my oldest niece by then. You know, she had her very young. And um, all I wanted was to be a mom, you know, and felt that we had fertility problems. I mean, my life was over until, you know, we finally had our daughter. But so some women are built that way, even though they're not moms, you know, that's all I ever wanted, no matter what I accomplished, being a mom is the most important thing ever. And it always has been, you know, um, what did Chris and Troy talk about on the phone for two and a half, two and a half minutes at 741 a.m. on August 13th? Listen to me. I do not know. Um, who? Uh, listen to me. Is his name or her name to, to Troy, okay. um, the gentleman with the um, fire stick, a co worker of Chris's? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I, you know, again, I don't think any, I know what he was talking to him for. You do? Well, possibly. Was Chris not planning on blowing up the oil site? Some people say he was. Well, I think, yeah, I, I, I believe he was going to blow that up. He was going to blow it all up. It was an accident at work, and he was, and that's why he put the girls in the oil tanks. He thought they'd never mm. be found. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> can you believe, I mean, can you imagine any of that? I mean. No, I and I still don't understand from the crime scene photos, think about it and talk about it, but how did he get them in there? I don't. 
I'll never understand that. I don't know. But again, I, I, you know, when my daughter was little, she um used to crawl through the tiny little Barbie door in her Barbie house. She would squish her shoulders somehow and oh. get her whole little body through it. And she was a, you know, a, she was a very tall kid. I mean, Allie was always the tallest kid in class until, you know, she got into junior high. I have no clue how she did this at four or five years old, but she did. So I know that children, I mean, their bones are very flexible, and I hate to think about that. I'm getting shivers here. Um, but he may have been able to manipulate their shoulders, their upper body, right, so they can get through. I, I don't know. Um, Maya, I'm going to pull up Maya here. I totally agree with Dorothy. She had a lot against her. Um, if it were a trial and a continuing investigation, then maybe we could believe her and everything would be explainable. For now, she looks guilty. You're right. She does look guilty. Um, Who is that? That's Maya. Maya. Yeah. Maya. Mm -hmm. Okay, hon. How, how come then with the FBI, the police, the DEA, DEA all of these agents and experts, how come they would just let her run free for something like this then, right? Especially Correct. with all the pressure from the public and everybody. Right. And that sometimes does play a factor on their, like, wanting to pursue someone more because they know the public wants it, and there's tons of people asking for it. So sometimes that does play a factor. So my question is why do you think all of these people would allow her to be out free for this crime then? I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. And, uh um, I'm having a Sunday, um, her name is Danielle Parco, along with Paula Forrester, my beautiful psychic friend um, who has, oh my gosh, she, you have no idea how good she is. Um, we'll talk about that all on Sunday, but I want to ask the private detective if there's any way she can actually look into whether or not NK was at work on the morning of the 13th of August that year. Um Sorry. And if there's any way she can get that information, I think that'll solve a lot of our problems, even though NK, you know, and I'm, I'm thinking book, um, did not log in that day. Um, she may she have wasn't been, logged in, but was she not seen on camera? Don't you think that those experts mm -hmm. would have looked at something like I that? I think they would have looked at all the CCTV footage from Anna Darko right. that day, you know, especially at the main entrance to see when the woman came in. Um, I know she logged out at three, but we don't know when she clocked in. And again, that would be my luck. It would be the day that the machine wasn't working or whatever. Um, right. and I, or I was running late and didn't want my boss to see it or something horrible, you know, back when I actually worked a real job. Um, Hugh, I cannot wait for that guest. I'm looking forward to it too. And I'm thinking maybe if she has a fee or something, we could um, pool money, anyone who would want to, to get Danielle to look into some of these details for us. Wouldn't that be lovely? You know, if she can come up with something that says, yes, NK was there that day or no, no one saw her that morning. I feel like no matter what, mm -hmm. even if she, I don't think the, the only way people will believe that detective, no matter how much money we would pay somebody only found the cold book. Correct. If she found anything else, unless it was Nicole, Clearly walking into her job at whatever time, eating a set. Like, if she's even walking in finding the clothes to that job, she did it. She's guilty. Correct. She's no, I know. She was. Late. Right, right, right. She was five minutes. Exactly. Co-workers saw her in the lunchroom at 6.30 a.m. Listen to me. That's fascinating. Um, yeah, I've heard that. Where, can, where did you get that information? Um, is I know it's not in the discovery. And, you know, Dr. B is trying to get some additional discovery, which I believe exists. And, um, you know, we're all pulling for her and we're all contributing to her cause because I'd, I'd like to know if there is additional discovery, not necessarily information that led to a conviction for Chris, but information that would, you know, not be pertinent to his conviction that simply clears other people. That's what I'm looking forward to. Hopefully Dr. B can get that. You know, we're all rooting for her. Um, as far as I know, you know, we all want to get that information. If she's got, if she's got her foot in the door and we're waiting to be able to afford it. I can't wait to see what she comes up with. Um, let's see here. Another one. How could she be in the lunchroom at six 30 and also ping at the Watts at six 17? Right. Does, does anyone know how far away 
um, Anna Darko was from Frederick. I, I thought it was about a 30 to 45 minute drive. Am I wrong? Does anyone know for sure? What is that? Is that the cult? No, that was, um, who was that? Uh, that was Maya. No, but what, what is that? Oh, is that the job, right? That's the job she was at? At the job, right. At the job, saw her in the lunchroom at 6.30. Then, you know, two things. Could she ping at 6.17 in Frederick and make it there by 6.30? That's only, what, 12 minutes and, you know, I don't know. Maybe she was having coffee. She was running late. I have no idea. But as far as the cult, um, I don't want to get sidetracked about that, Cher. What do you know? Of, what kind of cult are we talking about? Because it, as far as I can tell, it was just new age, you know. Um, yeah. From yeah. my reading of it, it's, it is very new age mm -hmm. and um i had somebody that sent me they went on the the facebook and messaged these people and actually one of the directors or whatever masters whatever they called themselves sure. mess messaged back and said they actually have going after a certain youtube creator Oh, right no. now for putting out lies saying that the cult sacrificed and stuff so you know uh they said nicole is not a part of that neither was her dad in that you know and i'm i get it they could be lying i understand that sure right but right. they're saying no and they're also saying that they have attorneys working on people that are keep tying them into this and saying that they you're essentially saying a cult okay murdered a family it's crazy. In my opinion, that's the stuff of um, so you know, movies. Why Chris watches family? If some cult got this, you got both sacrifices on the entire thing. Why was it the watches family? You yeah. know, I'm losing you a bit, Sherry. You're breaking up. I don't know why. Why was it who's? I'm sorry. I said, why would it be Chris Watts family? Why were they the lucky or whatever unlucky family to be sacrificed by a cult? Why? I don't know. And some people have said that maybe um. NK was mad at Shanann, you know, the year before for something or, or I mean, maybe even through Thrive. I don't know because NK was into fitness, but did she go so far as take the supplements? I, I don't know. Um, but then again, so what would you... This is like single white female, basically. Mm -hmm. Maybe she ran into uh, Shanann first and then went after the... Ooh. Mm -hmm. See, now we're getting a Lifetime movie here, people. We are. It has to be a Lifetime movie. <laughs> And I don't think, and, and like I've always said, you know, with Occam's razor or whatever, the the more, you know, the e easier and the simpler the X correct or usually correct. Um, and the simplest exclamation, yes, Peggy Sue got married. Evil does exist. It really, really does. Um, I try not to see it. I try to, you know, look at the world through rose colored glasses, but I know that it does exist. I've seen it here and there. Um, so I definitely agree. Um, Ben, it was too good for him. I don't know what we're talking about here. The person you are referring to said he was not. Hold on, let me pull this up. The person you are referring to said he was not sure what time Kessinger clocked in that day, Megan. Thank you. Um, talking to listen to me. Um, That's right. That is what I also heard was she was seen in the lunchroom, but there was no for sure on what time. I so it might have been 8. 30 or something in the hour you think i don't know that's yeah. entirely possible i don't know um let's see here too quick to plea rr orange guy i love it too quick to plea this needed a trial to hear proof of no involvement of others um that is correct and you know i would i would love to contact nk i don't want to you know bother her because in my opinion, she's been through enough. Yes, she did bad right. things, but um, I, heck, I, I'm telling you, saying it publicly, I would love to write her book from her perspective. Here. No, I would love to write her book, and um, if she reads my book, No Inclination, she could see that I did not blame the mistress, who was Stephanie in the book. Um, I only blamed my Charlie, who is representative of Chris Watts, of course. Right. So, I, you know, I would love to. Oh, we're both breaking up here and there, Megan. Thank you um, for telling me that. I don't know. My internet is usually pretty snappy. Um, and my microphone, Google Chrome is using your microphone. Yeah. Yes, I know that. I don't know. We'll be breaking up. Um, 
does anyone want again? I'm going to put it out there. Does anyone want to join us? I mean, you guys, you're 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 definitely going to be look a whole lot better than I do. So <laughs> if you want to take Tam, this, link, Tammy on. Oh yeah, I don't know what Tammy's doing today. I have no idea. Um, I think she knew I was going on live with you, but she might jump in on Sunday when I'm talking to the psychic and to um, the private detective, which would be fun. You know, anyone share if you want to try to get on Sunday too. Um, you know, the more the merrier. I, I love people talking to me. I love to talk. So. Oh. Uh, said, like, I have built in internet. I want to get internet. Good internet. What the heck? I know. I Wi-Fi if you want me to. That's yeah. Why don't you try it again? I would love to see your lovely face. Um, Otherwise you can call me again. People can just hear my voice. Okay. Why don't you try? I'll call you right back if we completely lose you. Oh, no, not right now. Or oh, you know? on Sunday. Okay, on Sunday. Yeah, on Got Sunday. it. Got It'll it. It'll take me at least 15 minutes to get wherever. Oh, Megan tells me it seems okay now. So maybe we're a little bit better now. Um, again, yes, Tammy is amazing. Thank you, Jamie. Um, and, you know, it, it, Tammy is a very smart lady. And she has so much research into this case. And, you know, people like Tammy or Dr. B or, you know, um, everybody, all the channels that I've actually been on who are, I mean, Tammy doesn't have her own channel. I'm trying to get her to have her own channel. But everyone has done so much more research. Um, and everyone's trying to prove Nicole Kessinger's guilt or innocence. And, I think that's a worthy cause. Um, I don't want to torture the woman, though, if she is, as I believe, completely innocent. And She's been investigated for two years, not only by FBI, DEA, all these people, but by the public, by all of armchair us. Armchair detectives, right, right. Not yeah, just one, so many of us, right. She's investigated every day since this has happened. Correct. And um, I'd love to reach out to her, but I wouldn't want to bother her type of thing. You know, I really want to know what happened from her perspective. And I think the public, you know, should know. Um, if I were to be able to get through to her and help her write her book, um, do you, um, will anyone read it? I mean, I don't even know about that. Oh, yeah. And, yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Good. And I, I, I don't, you know, I want to give her a, a forum to talk about it. And it would certainly, I, I think it couldn't hurt her. Um and oh I'll God. be honest too with everybody. The mm -hmm. tell tale sign for me that will like because you know Tommy, even me and some Team Phoenix Chris from Team Phoenix, we sure. talked about it. I did honestly think Nicole was in that house that night. I thought she sure. helped with everything I did, but then I changed my mind the more and more I because I tried to not look into the case. I really just tried to stay away from it. Oh, I'm sure it, it it's a hard. rabbit hole. You know, right, so, right. Yeah. So, and then I started changing my mind, and the more I chatted with, I've chatted with people who think they have evidence for both sides, and it's, I, I would literally have to see her leaving that house mm -hmm. at four in the morning to believe she had anything. I like, I, I would need picture of her, whatever, and people saying she actually committed one of the murders of the kids. Nobody even knows that at all. It's, it's, ugh. No, and I can't oh, see a nonviolent woman caring so so much about whatever the day to actually hurt a child. Um, you know, with Chris, I think it was so personal, and I do believe he has uh, what is it, um, antisocial personality behavior d disorder, rather, which causes him to behave in a manner that um, you know he doesn't really care, truly care about anything, and everything that he pretends to care about it's all a mask you know including his love for shenan and the kids and um again and it's a disorder and what i truly believe today oh my god they think nk let me say this one actually recorded her voice in the doll in the closet so she trashed the closet in the office I, you know i don't know shiloh um i love that name by the way i i don't know i don't think she caused anything i you know i believe in the supernatural i i really believe that was um um one of the children i actually think it was bella um right right and i i in my book again in no inclination along with a lot of other supernatural things that are going on with the case um 
you know, there's just too much to ignore. Like, you know, like a lot of people see that NK is guilty and they find all this evidence. Here I am finding supernatural evidence that um, I can't explain, at least not yet. And my psychic friend, Paula, she said that it was Bella's voice in the closet. So, I mean, it may have she, been a doll. I've seen all that too. And mm -hmm. I definitely, I believe in all that too. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a paranormal investigator for fun. Did you, nobody, so whoever does believe that, did you hear anybody say I called it? No. It was Chris. Yes. Sorry, my peacock is honking now. Oh, no. <laughs> You're a little sketchy, your voice, not you. Okay. New comments. Let me go down here. Okay, so somebody's asking here. You share. Purple Master says, Share, what are your thoughts on Tammy saying Chris is not capable of pulling this off on his own 100 percent believe he was i agree with you purple master 100 percent. i think he was more than capable he certainly could carry you know shenan um you know yeah I, he was a bodybuilder correct mm -hmm. he was working out he was very muscular he looked pretty damn good to me and yeah look how these other people there's so many other cases where they did take out multiple people sure and so there are a lot of cases where people. men drag full-size men you know yes. to their final burial yes. if they kill them um and they're they're tiny how old were bell they were three yeah they're about 40 pounds each right and shenan was not a big girl we all watched her on youtube we all know she was not a big girl and no she weighed 145 there you go. He, so to say that he could not do that, first of all, nobody knows the truth of when he did whatever to the girls. He could have had that done before Shanann got home. Maybe Shanann freaked out and then he killed her. I, I agree. No, so right. many darn theories, but he, all he had to do is really overtake Shanann, which was easy. She was sick. She had a lot of medical mm -hmm. issues, lupus. It was hard to breathe. On top of that, she was poor and she was an easy target. There's no way he could not have done that all by himself. Because Correct. two little kids aren't going to take him over, and Shannon couldn't. Right, right. No, I agree. I agree. I, um, share, I have two kids with somebody who he could definitely have done that all by himself because he's about mm. the same build and everything. And let me tell you, I'm 120 pounds, maybe. Lucky he you. He could have done that. <laughs> He could have had no problem, and he has actually hurt multiple people. You poor thing. I am so sorry. I know you told he, me about that the before. The strength that you have when you, if he's a body bodybuilder, he did it quite a bit. You have to have from, I know some people who work out quite a bit, and there's like an aggression there. He was an aggressive man. Right. He was just suppressing it, maybe. But if you watch all the YouTube channels, I can see as well. Like Chris Watson, he's all happy, whatever. And see as she's streaming, you can see a change in Chris's demeanor. Sure. No, I agree. I agree. And I think um, he built his body up, JD. Hold on. He built his body up, lifting his children in videos to build up his muscles. I wonder. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. I think he partially dug Shanann's grave previous. I agree with you, JD. That, um, yeah. Again, it's in my book. Um, my entire theory is in the book. Um, I think he may have done that. Sh uh, Cher, what do you think? Do you think he might have actually gone in there and dug part of the grave at the very least? Both ways with that, I think possibly. But then I would think, too, from what I see in the pictures, it mm -hmm. doesn't look like it took me. He took maybe, I don't think he took that long. It was way too shallow. It was more just like a little enough. No, I don't know. It could go either way with that. And I know. Now, if he was going to dig it prior, I would feel like he could have done a lot better. And she could have sure. been hidden anywhere. But maybe he dug it to the extent where he thought, okay, that's good enough. And he got there and he thought, oh, crap, I need a few more inches. And so right. he finished that up. I, I don't know. It's difficult to know, you know, how deep to dig a hole. I, I When I was a kid. And we would dig holes in the back of treasure boxes in or something goofy. And I, I always remember thinking the hole was big enough for whatever it was and then it not actually being. No, I've never buried a dead body, so don't start that room. <laughs> um, 
do does anyone know when Jim left town, Mrs. T or Miss T rather, plus he was awkwardly still in town on Monday. What do you guys think about Jim? What do you think, Jim, Cher? Jim is the dad? No, Jim is her buddy, her her best guy friend. You know, I always compare him to David. David Smith is my Jim in in the story. Um, because I think he was her best guy friend, Jim oh, was. Nicole's best guy friend. Right, right. Um, what would you, or what, what are people saying? So we think that. Why was he still in town on Monday? Right. That people do think he was involved. Her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. People think that. Her and best I, guy friend would help kill her? Yeah. I mean, just say that out loud, people. Whoever thinks that, just say it out loud. Right, right. It's silly. Right. I, no, I agree. I, I, why? How come we aren't getting him investigated? How, what's what's right. up with that? Exactly. No, I agree. Um, I don't think he was involved in because I don't think NK was involved. Megan, Absolutely not. Yeah. Megan J says there was a case where a six foot, 200 pound man had died and he was face down. It took four male detectives just to roll the victim over so they could look for injuries. Wow. Um, I don't know about well, that's that. A big, a big, a big man, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. And also, again, and Shanann was, the little toddlers yeah. are not big. Mm -hmm. And Chris was a big dude. You see his arms. Everyone's seen pictures of him. That man was built. Right. At the time. Right. Right. At the time. And, you know, like I said, my daughter's boyfriend will carry her up the stairs. My husband can carry me. You know, I think that, and people are saying a dead weight is different. No, it would be very similar my to. My 11-year-old son can pick me up. Sure. My, my yeah, my, my daughter can do that to me too. Exactly. Um, I don't think she can carry me anywhere. And I, I don't think right. I can carry her anywhere. But um, you can certainly pick up the body. But if you are a full-grown man, especially someone who has been lifting weights so i i think it would be entirely possible because most husbands do occasionally pick up their wives just for fun or whatever right. and so he would have known that he could bear that weight um true crime truth seeker in case said jim left monday then she said she was with him monday and tuesday then in case dad said wednesday he went over to tell you guys who is you guys so jim was there on wednesday too i really don't know um, but I do know she wanted to keep him out of the position. Probably no, Chris, that would be my assumption. And he really was not involved whatsoever in, in anything. I think I would have the same reaction um, if someone wanted to involve, you know, one of my best friends in something that I got myself right. into. Mm -hmm. She's protecting him. And also, yeah, of course he stayed later because if it's your best friend, mm -hmm. you're like, like, okay, you need me here, bro. Like, I wouldn't be going anywhere either. I wouldn't either. No, I'd stay until something so blew over. that's still understandable to Right, me. right. I don't know. I like to think I'm not a dumb girl, you guys, but I just don't, it doesn't. About. I did for, the, for a while, honestly, for half the time, for a whole year, maybe, I believe Nicole did it. But I, you know, I changed my mind because of. Oh, I'm losing you completely, but I, I can hear what you're saying. People who yeah. can't hear her, um, she said there's not enough evidence to point to Nicole Kiss Kessinger, and I, I, I agree. Um, ben says, I think Chris and Shanann had a row that night, then that went wrong. Um, was he trying? He tried to hide it. CCTV proved it all right. Neighbor Nate's CCTV um, did show very clearly to me. It showed him carrying something um, initially that was, you know, sort of like a dead weight. It looked to me like he was struggling. And then again, you could, I, I can see Bella, you know, standing there and him picking her up clearly uh, in the shadow, it might, you know, we could say he was picking up, you know, a, whatever, a bottle of something or, or a basket of tools or whatever, which is also possible. There's a child, um, you know, walking in the shadows underneath the vehicle. I think that too. Mm -hmm. I do think that too. And Chris said he did what he did. I'm sorry. I don't even want to say it all loud. Mm -hmm. It's no. just disturbing. But no. Chris did what he did. And he's saying that. They then regained consciousness, right. and he had to take care of business a second time. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's what happened, and he did have to put one. I I still believe one 
girl was alive. Bella was alive, right. Yeah. Right. Possibly both. I mean, I, I, I mean, who would come up with the story that they had to do that two times? So I kind of believe that in all of his lives, there is some truth in there. There is some truth. And I think that, you know, his final confession again to Sherilyn Cadle, um, by way of, by way, I know how you feel, Cher. Oh my gosh. I don't like to say anything negative about any other authors because, you know, I will. but um, she made some mistakes. Certainly, but in the letters wrote directly to her, he said it, you know, he went into such detail and such horrific detail. I don't know why you would come out and say something like that. I mean, when you can just say I blacked out, I, you know, I was overworked, overstressed, and I really don't remember the entire incident. And that alone would not implicate NK if that was his end goal. You know what I mean? Why come up with something so frightening and horrific that we, none of us can even, you know, bear to listen to it, let alone right. to consider minds and consider it. And me being a dummy, I wrote about it, but um, whatever. I, I don't know why he would come up with such an elaborate story that was so incriminating and so heartbreaking and so horrible. If all he was trying to do was make sure NK was not implicated, if that was his end goal. I mean, again, you could say anything happened. I, there, there would be a million ways to say, I think I did it, but I, you know, I blacked out, but I remember parts of it. You're not going to go into such it's frightening. Um, let me see what else we have up here in chat. I'm trying not to ignore my chatters here. Is it, are they called chatters? <laughs> oh, Megan, when someone is still alive, but they are unconscious or lethargic, the person will still subconsciously flex their weight which makes the weight of the body centered and balanced. Interesting, Megan. And that brings up another point. Um, perhaps Shanann was in fact still alive um, when she was put into the grave. Now, uh, you know, that's possible. I don't know. Hold on. Why are we still alive? Wait a minute. I'm losing parts of my chat here. Not, not really. I'm just losing my mind, but that's the same thing. Um, uh, do you think there's a possibility that Shanann was still alive when he rolled her into the grave? I almost thought that because I was trying to figure if there really was something with the ponytail or whatever, because for a long time I thought I saw that too, but then mm -hmm. it's, it's just not. And they would have said something like that. I know other crimes where they actually brought NASA mm -hmm. to have them clear it up for them. And sure. they would have done something. In a case like that, I think they would have done something like that. So I don't believe it. But if possibly it could have been Shanann, then I don't know. I don't know either. I didn't believe it was a gun ponytail at this point. I mean, I think that Shanann, he did carry Shanann to the car. So, um, and another thing too is when you're investigating possible accessories to a crime, or possible um, people who cooperated, who even committed the crime, the first thing Ellie is going to do is check out the alibi, you know, and clear them based on the alibi. And they want to get through as many suspects as possible who they can clear. Um, so they're left with a short list of people who could have still possibly committed the crime. So I cannot believe that they did not initially look at her alibi um, and clear it right then and there. And again, I'm hoping my private detective lady is going to be able to shed some light on how we can bear at work, or maybe she can actually do the investigation for us. And maybe um, you know, I can contribute to whatever her fee would be to find out if um, NK was at work. And it's even possible you or I share, I know the way you work and you get to the, you know, you get to the bottom of everything by making phone calls. Maybe you or I could even call in a Darko. Um, yeah, I don't I know. Will. Yeah, will you? Okay. Okay. If my private detective lady um, is not able to do it or whatever, then I will, you know, solicit your help to do that. Certainly. Um, um Laura, show this. <laughs> um, so pretty, Tanya Hagen, you look and sound. Oh, thank you so much, Lori. You're adorable. Oh, my God. Thank you. I know I kind of look like a potato, but <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, but anyone, again, I'm going to mention this again, has nothing to do with the case, but 
if you comment either in chat or in um, the comments under the video and you are subscribed to my channel, I am giving away next week one more free book. I already mailed away. Um, I'm hoping he received it by, by now. Um, Resigned copy of No Inclination. I have one more that I'm offering to anyone. If you comment here in chat or in the comments under the video, or it, and you subscribe to my channel, you're eligible. And then what I do is I go to random.org and I, I turn all the entries into numbers. And then I let random.org draw a number and that's who my winner is. So, and I will mail to the UK and I will mail to Canada. I'm not sure about, you know, Australia or anything like that because I've never done so, but um, anyway, that's just a, um, well, even for mailing to the UK, cause I tried to send a subscriber, uh, something and then you got it. You just fill out a, a custom right. slip. Right. I do that all the time. A custom yeah. slip. Yeah. Probably mm -hmm. the same for Australia. Maybe. It's the same thing mailing to UK or to Canada. I've done them, you know, I've done both a few times and, um, yeah. And I think that one time I mailed, um, a lady one, um, a piece of jewelry at my, um, giveaway at one of my release parties from Facebook. And I, I think it was like paid for the mail to get to her. And the poor woman ended up owing the postmaster 21 pounds. So I went out and I, oh. I got her, it's hor I felt so bad. I got her like a 25 pound um, Amazon gift card hoping to make up for it. So I felt so embarrassed and I, I felt so bad for the lady, but um, I'll make, I'll double, double check if I do end up mailing, you know, across the pond, but Canada is pretty easy, but everyone's eligible. Um, and thank you all for, you know, being on my channel and commenting. That's wonderful. Um, let me see. See here, man walking newsman. Okay, Dorothy, that brings up a point. Um, I think it was Armchair Detective who put up a video of when they're doing a walkthrough of the home, and Chris Watts is actually there with them in the kitchen dining area. Out back, you can see a man walking with what looks to me like a camera tripod, or it could also be um, like a uh, what do they call it? The not binoculars, but the big one. I am. Yeah, you know, I'm drawing a blank here. Um, it it could also telescope. What is it? Telescope. That's telescope. it. Thank you, Cher. Um, and it looks to me to be some sort of what's going on in the Watts house. I'm guessing news reporter, um, or if not news oh, reporter. Alan I'm just kidding. No, no, it wasn't Alan. It, was, it appeared to be a young man with dark hair, but you know he could wear a disguise. No, I, I doubt it was Alan. Um, <laughs> Let's see here. Listen to me. I had to give some of them a laugh. I know. I know. You're funny. Oh. You're like not on my channel. Listen to the first cop video, JD. Um, oh, whoops, wrong one. I'll put your other one, your one up. Your comment to the first cop video. Um, listen to me says Nicole tells Chris that Chris told um ADI that Shanann left in the middle of the night um yeah i think yeah. He, he did say that yeah he did I, say that. right right um but she got home in the middle of the night i i, I don't know she JD, got home at like two mm -hmm. something in the morning it was right? 148 okay. right when she actually was videotaped you know by the doorbell cam on and the her flight home. was late according right. to text messages right her flight was delayed coming out of arizona and therefore, it took them something like 45 minutes to get home from the airport in Nicole Atkinson's car. And so she got there at about 1.48 a.m., which to me is not late, but to a lady with two littles, you know, and she has to get them up. They get up at the crack of dawn. So she was already very tired. Um, I'm sure very frustrated and, and upset. Um, JD says, I wish NK would come out and tell her story. Yes. Um, Nicole Kessinger, I am offering to write this book for you. And if I, it, it, you know, the book about your story um, and everyone needs to know. So I would be very you know, honored more or less to have a part in that. And um, she probably would, would, but there are so many people implicating her. It would be too dangerous. JD that um and I wouldn't even want to know where she's located because that could be a danger if even one person knows where she is I think she's in a different state personally what do you think about that Cher do you think she's gone I mean in a different state or um Nicole mm -hmm. yeah I do I do too I, 
I think, okay, there is, people keep saying that the police or whatever could not put her into hiding because she didn't meet criteria. But I have talked to some pretty prominent defense attorneys and I've asked them some questions about the Watts case just to settle things in my own mind, honestly. Sure. And there is actually loopholes. And if they thought for one minute that her life would be in danger, which it absolutely is, Mm -hmm. they would actually put her in. And it may not be an official sort of thing. It might just be a bunch of people who are sympathetic to her problem and who want to help her by, you know, maybe getting documents gone through quickly. I don't know what kind of power they would have, but perhaps they would be able to help her um, get away and stay unofficially. I'm not talking about witness protection or anything like that. Um, I just mean out of the kindness of their own hearts. To There's a lot of underground um, people mm-hmm. that will help hide somebody. Sure, especially a woman who may be in danger for whatever reason. Yep. And, oh, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm not talking about Casey Anthony, that, you know, the woman who killed her child and got away with it scot-free. I'm, ta- you know, I'm talking about... That Jose Bias is how somewhere in Mexico or Arizona, or actually, I think she's actually back in Florida now. Oh, probably. And I don't care if people find her, you know, I wish what? I could have a conversation with that woman. Oh, my gosh. And well, I, tried, I tried hunting her down once when I was in Florida. Oh, did you really? And, and you know, I... I've never done it, but I want to reach out to Cindy and George Anthony and see if they want me to write that, you know, their story as well. People, one thing that really bothers me is, you know, injustice. And other was blamed for things that, of course, he didn't do. Um, That man fully believed 100% that his grandbaby was taken by the nanny. He was looking for, there's no way. Such a kind mom and dad too, Cindy and George. Um, Let's see here. More comments, more comments. I love comments. Someone said, Melinda said, Casey Anthony went to Columbus, Ohio, and then back to Florida. Okay, interesting. Yeah, she's in Florida now. She's been spotted, like, holding people's children in bars and stuff. Oh, my. In restaurants and stuff. Oh, my. Oh, I wouldn't, I, would you let her hold your child? No, I, no, hell no. Don't sit on her lap and let me get a selfie. Yeah, oh, no, thank you, no, thank you. Um... What a fascinating book that would be, uh, JD. What a fascinating book that would be with all the conspiracy theorists about. Um, yeah, you know, one one thing I was gonna do. I mean, I kicked around so many ideas when I was writing. Knowing at first I wanted it to be a nonfiction book about, you know, the case, and then um, again, Sherilyn was talking about her book coming out, and then Lena had announced hers as well. And I thought that they would have, you know, the corner of the market on all the information that was out there from a nonfiction point of view. Then my next thought was to do it as fiction, no inclination, but I was going to add all the theories in there and show things unfolding in many different ways. But then I completely became convinced that Chris did it all on his own. Um, So that's the direction I went with that book. But it would be fascinating if we had a book with all the conspiracy theories out there and listed in the book. And, you know, that might be something I work on. I I really don't know. But someone probably does need to do that book. As an amazing lawyer, loved the work he did with Aaron Hernandez. He's a great author, too. Oh, interesting. I did not know that. Um, Ken, Kenneth, you're saying that. Thank you for coming, for one thing, Kenneth. But you're saying that. Casey Anthony is married. Oh boy, I shudder to think about that and the possibility of more children. You know, no, mm, no, no, no. Oh boy. Um, moving on to Nicole again. No. <laughs> back to Nicole. Um, do 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 do. Miss T N K asks about Kevin during the interview in a very quiet manner, but still bearable if C W knew she was a witness. Hmm, really? And listen to me says, hi, NK. I don't know um, who's being accused of being NK, but, you know, I'm not. (laughs) Cher, are you NK secretly? Come on. (laughs) I am Nicole Kessinger. I wish I had her beautiful boobs. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Does she really? That's funny. Oh, I'm losing you, Cher. I hear little clicky sounds like you're on the computer. Oh, my water bottle. Sorry. No, you're okay. You're okay. 
Um, ben is trying to figure out the bridge guy. Interesting. Um, oh, okay. Someone is accusing another another um, viewer of being NK. I, I, I don't know that anyone. Hold on. That'd be crazy. Nicole. It would be. Well, yeah, let me write your book if you're out there. Uh, Tanya, did I hear you say to NK, if listening, you will be honored if NK calls you and allows you to write her story, Anastasia? Um, I'm not saying NK is a wonderful person. I'm just saying what a fascinating book that would be. Um, and yes, I would be honored to be able to tell a story that big. Absolutely. I mean, any writer would be, no matter where it leads me. Um, you know, even if she confesses to me, it would be an honor to tell that big of a story in a public way so other, you know, all my readers could hear it. Um, I don't know, you know, I'm a journalist. And one thing that really bothers me as a journalist is not getting the full story out there. So absolutely, it would be an honor. And who knows, she might be the nicest lady on earth. We, we don't really know because we haven't had much access to who she is or her, you know, her real personality. Um, uh, that's... I'm sorry, what chair? Sorry, no, sorry. No? <laughs> I can't say. <laughs> well, you sure can. I mean, I'm, you know, everyone talks badly about her and I don't know who she is. I don't know who she is as a person. All we know. Nobody does. No, the nobody knows. Does is, is Chris. Correct. And, her own family. Mm -hmm. and what I want to also say is why would. Okay. So took my daughter and her children and, and was involved in these horrible murders with her husband let's say my daughter my daughter cassidy got married she has two kids what baby on the way okay and if there was a woman involved why is shanann's family saying they believe nicole messenger is innocent why would shanann's own family support that theory instead of want to pressure get get it taken care of and have her investigated why would if i'm sorry i don't care how beautiful somebody is but if you were involved in murdering my daughter and her children, mm -hmm. they wouldn't make it to prison, but I'd probably be the one in prison. Oh, if anyone hurts my child, they wouldn't either. Yeah. Right. So, but what do they gain from supporting that NK is not involved? What could they possibly gain from saying that she is innocent from killing their own daughter and grandchildren? grandchildren. And I, that's what I've, you know, one of the things I've based my um, opinion on is the fact that the Rusex, you know, they they know every droplet of discovery. I'm sure they have called many times and said, but what about this NK woman? You know, what are you guys doing with her? And, and, and Ellie has assured them, well, we investigated this, that, and the other. And we know that this woman, while she's not very um, appealing or, or, or whatever to you or to the outside world, she is not involved. She never was. And, you know, here's the evidence that the public doesn't have. Um, and we didn't include in the discovery, but she is not guilty. And I think that the Rusek family, um, we're always going to talk about this crime because it is and to a lot of us especially empathetic people share like you or i or a lot of you know my viewers um that we're so empathetic to the crime and you know to the, to the victims especially you know especially um i think we're not going to stop talking about it because it's so disturbing and right. over all this time they feel like they're you know like shanann was my sister and these are my nieces and um and, and that might be wrong and people are going to get mad at me saying, well, I'm not grieving my family, but you know what though? They feel like family to a lot of us. And we're going to keep talking about it. I don't think the Rusex are complaining about us talking about the crime or talking about the facts that we know that Chris did it and he's in jail um, right where he needs to be. I think they're angry because so many people are trying to prove that there was another person involved and thereby making the entire resolution and any sort of closure that the family could have kind of, you know, dangle out there in the air and they can't really move on. Right. Um, so I think that's where and they're coming she from. She streamed all the time. She was constantly on right. YouTube doing lives mm -hmm. and everybody, everyone feels like they know she sure. and they know those girls. Absolutely. They feel like, you know, they feel like they're my neighbors or, or you know, my best friend is Shanann or something because they do feel so real. Right. Um, and they were, they were real people. And, and, 
um, I think keeping the case alive and, and talking about it, there's no attempt to hurt anyone. I would never want any family or any people who were victims of a, of a killer to feel that I have done something to, you know, add to their anguish. I, that's the last thing I want. And that includes the Watts family as well. Um, they're victims. And, you know, a lot of people don't agree with the, what they say or do or, or whatever, but the Rusex and the Watts are both victims. That's, you know, what they are. Um, and they are the only people, by the way, that have any kind of right to say or do anything about it. That is correct. Right, right, right. Um, Megan J, let me pull this up. This is, you know, goes along with what we were talking about. Um, why are they so quick to shut down conspiracy theorists? If they're so... So ridiculous and far to shut them up. I think it's because um, they. It's dangerous. Well, not only is it dangerous, it adds to their anguish because they've already settled in their mind that it was their son in law and they've dealt with that grief of losing a, a man who they thought of as their son, in addition to losing their daughter and their grandchildren. And they've come to that resolution in their mind. So if you start throwing other things at them, other possibilities, they're caused to rethink that entire way of thinking. And they're caused to, it opens them up to a lot more heartache thinking, well, gosh, maybe we got it wrong. Right. Um, it's I, picking at scabs. It's right. Yeah. Right. Right. These families just need to, they've never been able to mourn. And I'm sorry, but Cheryl and Cato went after this family five months after oh, it my. happened. I know. Five months. She didn't. Right. They never got the chance to mourn anything. It was lies from the very beginning. So they were getting nothing but lies from Chris himself. They never got a chance. They still haven't, if you ask me, been able to properly mourn an entire family. I agree. They have not gotten that chance, and I don't want to continue that. You know that grief or make it worse for anyone. Um, I think my mission, if anything, would be to. Um, say that I, I firmly believe Chris's story, no matter how horrible it is. I think he is our one perpetrator and he's right where he should be. Again, oh, yeah. if someone tells me something else and shows me evidence, then as I, you know, I don't want to get it wrong. I don't want right, any of us exactly. to be wrong. If you can put something in my face and mm -hmm. it shows me, yep, Nicole did this. Okay. I can't turn away from no, that. But can't. right now. It, you know, it, it, there's not enough. No. And I, I did flip sides. So, you know, I was a believer of the other way and all the other theories. I was, but sure. I, I'm just not anymore. No, I, I'm not either. Um, Let me see. This is an interesting thought, too, from our, our orange guy. Um, I wonder if you live, do you live in our Orange County? I, used, I grew up in Orange County, California. The position Shanann was found in makes more sense that she was in the trunk of a car. But why? Um, if she was simply rolled into the grave and she, she ended up, you know, in sort of a fetal position, that would be how she, how the rigor mortis set in. And that would be how she would be found. I don't believe that she had to have been scrunched up in the trunk of a car because, um, you know, you, he said that he rolled her in and that's how she landed and he left her that way. Right. I, I don't believe that that would be. Um, you can position bodies. It doesn't matter if Rick said it or not. You can sure. you put a position, you know, if he was holding her, you know, like a baby, mm, like right. a cradle hold and, and put her into the ray like a cradle hold and she stayed in that position. You Correct. Know, like kind of how I sleep in fetal position. Sure. I do that too sometimes. Yeah. On my right side. It's really weird. But <laughs> um, Sure sounds like an attempt to take away free speech. I don't know what that is. Um, Bumblebee, um, no one died at 2825 Saratoga Trail or in the trunk. And I know that's a theory, too, that um, everyone was alive when they left that house. And um, I think that certainly it's possible that both girls were alive. But I don't know about Shanann. And perhaps she was simply knocked out. And he took her out to the grave site that way. And he buried her. Um, even you know almost dead and not 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 gone yet and that is frightening to me um especially when you get into the possibility that little bit little bella might have been alive too um right. I, it just makes his crimes all the more horrific and and i will never understand i, I don't think we'll ever understand 
the motives either way, whether it turns out that NK did the whole thing or not, we will never understand how some, a human being so-called could do this to other people, especially little ones that were that vulnerable or a, you know, a loving mother and wife who was, you know, an awesome person and, and very full of life, you know, how full of life they were. How can you take that away? I, well, I kind of have a theory. Okay. What's your but theory? It's, it's just that. And I think we touched on it a little bit before. And I clearly think just my theory. Sure. And the whole YouTube thing. Right. And she was very popular. Everybody loved her. Mm -hmm. And I think that could cause jealousy in somebody like Chris. And he was a narcissist. I mean, textbook narcissist. Do you he think was so? probably jealous. Right. right. I almost wonder, because I hear he's doing great. He's got all these women writing him and he mm. loves it. And he's just... Some people do much better in prison, and my father's actually one of them. Wow. Interesting. He, they like to be in prison, and even though Chris said he hated how controlling his mom was, Shanann was so controlling, and he just wanted to control his own life. Well, you are now not controlling your own life. No, care. it's controlled prison. for him. Right. Yes. Right. So I think, I don't know how to explain it, but I think it was an attention thing, or... Maybe that's why he continues lying and spinning all these crazy webs because it's getting the attention and he loves it. Wow. He absolutely loves it. Perhaps, Have you seen interviews right. of him in prison? He's laughing. He's getting treated like a like a dang star in there. He's sure. not even being interviewed in an actual room like Rhonda has to sit in and be interviewed in. Right, right. No, I know. And I but see though, you know, that's something that I had talked to Dr. B about previously too, that I don't see him being a narcissist, but um, he may very well be a covert narcissist where that does that aspect of the antisocial personality disorder does not show up the narcissism um, right. as clearly. Um, I see him as being shy and withdrawn. However, I think he was that way because he was very aware and still is that he doesn't have appropriate feelings or emotion. Um, but according to Dr. B, you have to be a narcissist if you are a psychopath and Sure. Um, but again, and I think he's a very covert narcissist. I don't know that he's seeking attention. Maybe, you know, maybe I'm completely wrong with my I assessment. Think he okay. loves it. Interesting. Very I interesting. absolutely think he loves it. I, my, I share two daughters with a narcissist. He's you actually do. been diagnosed as a narcissist. Sure. There's different kind of Narcissist. There is, right? And there's different degrees of how much right. they show it to the outside world. And he loves attention, let me tell you. So, mm. and I kind of see that in Chris. Interesting. I don't know. I mean, I knew a narcissist, and um, he had me write a whole book, well, no, more like three quarters of a book for him dead rats and nine mail shipments of drugs and um, all kinds yes. of crazy, yeah, mm -hmm, all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, but he's very much a narcissist and he, he pretends to be very shy and sweet and bumbling and whatever, but he's very much a sociopath at the very least. And, um, and he does, oh, I think I know who you're talking about. Probably. Was it, yes. Uh, Grey Gardens. Gardens. It was tied to Grey Gardens and I, I'm not, um, courageous enough to announce the name but any of my great gardens followers who are here know exactly who it was um but yeah he he you know to the public this this gentleman or whatever you want to call him pretended to be um and still pretends to be very shy and very um you know bumbling as in you know that self um whatever you call it self-depreciating humor and you know things like that um, but he's very much a narcissist and he really enjoys the spotlight. So I do see how someone who doesn't come across as a narcissist could potentially be that way, uh, you know, as in Chris. Um, right. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Uh, do, 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 do. I think Jamie Rayburn says she, she thinks that she was in the trunk as well. She might have been. Um, I don't know. How come the dogs never hit on the trunk? Three different cadaver dogs. How come the trunk wasn't hit on? Just like no, nothing in the house was hit on. Right. The trunk wasn't hit on as well. And three cadaver dogs, I mean, at least one would have to be right. Correct. No, I agree. And why? Three bad cadaver dogs? I don't know. If things happen the way Chris says it did, then why are there no hits? But again, 
Um, someone was going to look into that. I don't know if it was Tammy, but I'll, I, and, you know, my mind is scrambled eggs all the time. So <laughs> someone said they were going to look into whether or not a cadaver dog would hit if the body was only in a certain location for about 10 or 15 minutes. It might've been David. David, if you're out there, let me know. I think I'm called to, um, to a St. Paul woman who has rescued cadaver dogs. Oh, okay. Maybe it was you. I'm so sorry, Cher. Okay. So I think you were talking to, to Tam okay. Tammy on Monday as well, which is, remember, I texted you after and I started calling and emailing these people. Sure. Um, and they are willing to come on panel, but the lady is older and she wasn't feeling very well, so she hasn't called yet. But okay. she did she would answer our questions and that her daughter, who helps with the rescue of the cadaver dogs, would, would not mind sometime with sure. us also. Wonderful. Thank you. You're awesome, Cher. So maybe we can, I mean, you and I are going to be on live together every Tuesday. Hopefully this week I had to help my mom with a doctor appointment type of thing. And so I couldn't do it on Tuesday, but maybe one of these Tuesdays we can have um, someone on who would tell us all about that. That would be fascinating. I got a lot of people willing to come on panel with you. Girl. You're amazing, Cher. You have so many connections. I swear it's it's amazing. Really, really. Well, I'm just not afraid to talk to people. Is what it I is. know. I mean, you're not. And I'm not usually afraid to talk to people either. And I can usually get information. But I think you've got me beat on that. I really do. I think that um, especially if we're going to get anything out of Anna Darko for that day that Nicole Kessinger would or would not have been there in the morning. I, you know, I think you're the one to pull it out if, if the detective won't do it. <laughs> I'll sure that, yeah. 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 That would be amazing. Oh my gosh. Um, listen to me. I wish debate any law, I wish to debate any lawyer um, that can manage to want to be embarrassed. I don't know quite what that means, but um, perhaps that um, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. I, I don't know if it's my glasses or what. Um, what is this? She kept pulling the dog away in her direction. Dorothy, you think the dog handler did that and it may have been intentional. I don't know. I really don't know. But I know that the dogs did not hit in the house in any clear um, and obvious manner. Um, you know, I really don't know. Let's see here. Right because you don't speak like one of them either and you wouldn't be pushing your theory that's the last thing you would be doing um shiloh are you talking about um nk herself i don't know see i i, I missed some of the chat and therefore i get lost i am so sorry you guys i'm not intentionally um misunderstanding you i just um have a brain the size of a pea most of the time but <laughs> Um, Megan, true crime, true seeker. I deleted my last comment too because I noticed I made a couple typos. I'm a grammar Nazi, Megan. I am too. But you know, when you're typing quickly in chat, obviously that's all forgiven. Uh, don't worry about it. I wish I could only read as quickly. Um, I've just seen that Cam Cammy's on the chat. I want, she said hello, hello, Cammy. Oh, I'll, I'll, Hi, I'll, Tammy. I'll talk to you in a friendly adult manner, and we can debate our theories maybe on Monday. Oh, Tammy and I should be. Yes, Tammy. Thank you. I pulled up her up right here. Um, nothing is documented that the dogs commanded anywhere. Thank you, Tammy. And yes, Tammy and I should be on every Monday together from here to eternity. Unless <laughs> one of our schedules changes. Thank you, Tammy. Um, and of course, I always love it when you're on my show. And um, I'm, I would love to have anybody else come in here. Tammy, you want to come in here now? Are you in the mood? Yeah. I am going to invite anyone in my chat right now. And Tammy, if you want to jump in, please do. I'm pasting the link here. It's come. There you go. Come on in. <laughs> um, you know, the more the merrier. I'm always willing to have anyone on the show because it's such a tiny little channel and I don't know anything about what I'm doing yet. I really have no clue how I'm even sitting here. <laughs> I'm on a chair. That's all I know. But um, are you still there, Cher? Yep, I am. Oh, I'm getting low battery on my phone. Dog nabbit. That's okay. Better plug me in. I know. I don't have an outlet in here. I don't have a plug in here. Um, but uh, I have to go fish for one. And I don't know if we'd lose the broadcast if I <laughs> stepped away. I don't know how that works. Um, no, they just stare at your chair for a minute. I know, right? My empty chair. 
please no drama in the comments, Maya. Thank you. And yes, that you know, that touches on something else too, Maya. Thank you very much. No, no drama. We're all here with the same goal, and we are. We're trying to get justice. I mean, and what? we're not in kindergarten. Nobody no. is ever all going to believe in the same thing. No. And that's the beautiful thing on life, and the beautiful thing of everyone being their individual thinkers. Correct. Right. 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 And I think, again, if we all met each other at a company picnic or something, there would be absolutely no dispute between any of us because we're all human beings and everyone I've talked to and all you guys in chat, even if you don't like me, um, you're nice people. You're just normal people. And I really don't think any of us would have a conflict in real life. Do you share? I mean, I don't like the way that people... The only um, people I have conflicts in life are people that hurt me personally. Sure. And I would or hurt like, your or children. Or that's hurting my family or a family I'm advocating for. I don't like that. I don't do Correct. bullies well. I will bully you right back and have zero problem with it. Now, see, I'm the opposite. If someone uh, bullies me, I try to see their side of the whole thing, and you know, which is why I was railroaded by the guy from right. Grey Gardens. I thought, oh, he's so a now nice. you see why you can't do that. You gotta stick. Oh, absolutely, it. absolutely. But I still, you know, I can't. I can argue with my husband left and right, but I do not like conflict, and I don't ever want to be a part of it or a subject of conflict. And everyone has an opinion you know, about who I should talk to on, on my YouTube or who I should talk to on their YouTube. And, um, you know, I've been told many, many things that, you know, why are you going on this channel or, or whatever? And it, I, you know, I don't care. These are people, they're human beings who are very nice and I don't care what kind of a theory they have as opposed to mine. Um, right. So that's all I have to say about that. And I don't know if Tammy's coming on or not. I don't see her lovely face yet. Um, try on Monday, maybe I'll call in on Monday or something. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, I would love it if you could do that, call in. And I want you to get your. I don't know why your internet is not cooperating today. That's only awful. for your live streams. I don't know. It's only me. Isn't that strange? Oh my gosh. I think it's a different way. He's actually posting the link in the chat. I will figure that out tonight and see. If yeah, for sure. Or maybe it's because you're. Oh, did you disconnect that live stream? Maybe you're still connected yeah, to I his. Did. Okay. No, I I just I I uh, backed out of all the open applications in Streamyard. So. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Um, and it's just. Well, I will drive the Wi-Fi. Okay, mm, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Um, being bullied, Anastasia. Being bullied is the worst ever. I agree with you, and I don't want anyone to bully anyone. I genuinely, I mean, if you talk to me at all you're my friend and and you know you can walk all over me and punch me and like i said help me back up and say i'm so sorry i hurt you and i'll think oh she's my friend again you know what? Yeah. i really want to you know i do love and care about everyone i meet because i'm a real 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 people person and i know that's gotten me in trouble so um uh, megan true crime truth seeker why are the rusex not going after the channels that degrade and talk badly about shenan but they're going after the conspiracy channels that are not bashing her. Good point, Megan. I don't know why. Um, and, you know, to bash Shanann, I mean, to say that Shanann was a human being and she had flaws, of course she was and she did. Um, but that's not bashing her. And I know there have been a few channels or a few personalities who have said that Shanann was not a good person. And, and to me, she was a lovely lady, I'm sure. She was certainly deserving to keep her life, you know, here in this world rather than to be murdered. Mm -hmm. um, I do think also there was a switch with her, too. In what way? I, I do think she had a YouTube persona also. Oh, certainly. Oh, I do, I, too. I definitely think she was sweet Shanann. Sure. And I have to do it. I have to try and... and like make myself PG even when I'm doing it for racism. I don't know how I'm drunk. I do try to tone myself down a little bit. Sure. To not offend anybody when I'm doing this. Oh no, you're not offending anyone. I don't think so. But... I could see, like, I think she had a persona or a switch where she was one way for YouTube and streaming. Sure. And completely different towards Chris or in sure. real life. Right, right, right. I, I agree. I think that, um, and I, you know, again, in no inclination, I think I kind of nailed that, that Shanann actually thought from time to time, who is this person I'm portraying? 
Right. And, you know, she, she felt like a snake oil salesman sometimes, but that's, you know, I used to be a realtor and I know that your, your personality goes over the top when you're selling something and right. you do behave in a different manner um, than the way and you behave. In she was in sales. Correct. So she was in sales. Right, right, she right. She had to have that. And just like me, I, a lot of my work, I work with people with disabilities and then I also have done customer service for, service for sure. many years. So sure. you have to have that to make people so happy. You just have to have that damn persona, even though you gotta, you know, you just gotta walk through, you gotta be kind, even maybe if you don't want to be kind to that person. Oh, no, no, you have to be. And, and again, I see the silver lining. I see the good in everyone. And I really try, I really try to see where, you know, where Chris Watts might be a good, you know, person. And I, that I can't see. I can't see Casey Anthony being good. But normally I'm able to see that everyone is good somewhere in there, you know. Um, and Paula Barnes says, I'm a live and let live person. So I see all sides and I also respect all sides. Thank you, Paula. I do that too. Um, we all should agree to disagree on all levels. Absolutely. You know, there's no reason to actually have a real conflict because we have different opinions. And I, I typically say I'm, I'm not political. And, you know, in my heart, I am. I know which side is correct and which side is not not so good. Um, but I'd never talk about it publicly because I don't I don't want anyone to get into a conflict over something like that when in real life, again, we get along swimmingly and there would be no conflict other than our political views. And I don't believe that. Life is too short. You know, it really is to dislike someone over a political view or to dislike someone because they have a different theory about what sort of a horrible fate befell, um, you know, Shanann, Bella, Cece, and baby Nico. I, I don't, I don't understand it, you know? Um, and it's fine if someone has a different opinion from me and, you know, but thank you. I, I appreciate that, Paula. Um, let's see here. Do -do. Hmm. I did yesterday. I, I'm losing track of chat and I apologize. Um, Tammy, um, I, I don't know if you're going to be able to come in or not, but um, if not, I'll see you on Monday. Of course, Tammy wants me to send a link through Facebook Messenger. If I were to do that, Tammy, um, oh, you know what? Hold on. Maybe I can. I'm going to lose you. Soon. No, I'm not going to lose you, Sarah, but you're just going to get quiet. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I do know how to do this kind of sort of. Maybe not. No, I don't. Darn. Um, because in order to leave... Tammy, in order to, the only way I could do it would be through my laptop and because I did not use the link on my phone at all today. So therefore I would not be able to send it to you. But what you could do is copy it and paste it into your browser, Tammy. Yeah. Um, that might work. If not, let's see here. No, I am so sorry. You should, if you can send it to your, or you can't from your computer, just send it to like a text to you. No, I can't do that. I mean, what I would have to do would be to actually leave this page and then I would disappear and I think everyone would disappear. I don't know. Um, yeah, it would have to be a new live stream and I, I don't want to, Tammy, I'm so sorry. Um, copy and paste it, Tammy. Yeah, try to copy and paste it. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll leave it open here for you for a little while or anybody else who wants to jump in. Um, that would be lovely. I, I just, um, you know, you can even come in and, and disconnect um, your camera so we can just hear your lovely voices. I, it doesn't matter to me either way. Um, you guys have to sit and look here, look at me, but that, <laughs> other than that, I would love to have someone on here. Jury trial. That is all we need. Our, our orange guy. Um, that is correct. I think that if we had a jury trial, there would be so many questions answered that we don't have answered right now. Pardon me. I'm having a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> um, but no, that is true. With the jury trial, we would be able to fish out a lot of the questions and answers. Um, specifically, you know, NK would be questioned. And I'm sure Chris's defense team would be able to deposit or be able to try to deposit a reasonable doubt in everyone's heads that there may have been someone else involved or that Chris may not have done any of it, which of course I don't believe is true. 
but again, there would be a lot more discovery and there would be a lot more evidence files and there would be a lot of questions that are not answered. Answered specifically, my big one is, what about in case alibi? There has to be, you know, I, I swear there has to be something somewhere on the books where someone checked out her whereabouts for the morning of August 13th, 2018. They have to have, um, you know, like, uh, but then, you know, I think about the OJ Simpson trial and afterwards, a lot of people said, well, maybe his son had something to do with it, but OJ was acquitted. So, um, I don't oh, know. I know you do. I know you do. Absolutely. But you know, there were a lot of things that you know, did they pursue the son's whereabouts that night? Did they check out and make sure Kaylin or Kate what was his name? Kato was where he needed to be. Um, I don't know, but I'm assuming they did in order to eliminate any other possible suspects. Well, I've seen proof. Mm hmm of somebody else admitting to doing the crime. Interesting. So, wow. Yeah. Like I said, that would take so long. We would be on the stream another five hours. Another five hours? No, I know. We can go into the Jean Benet case or anything. And I love that. Let's do it. We should do that. Why don't we talk about those obscure ones, obscure the old cases next week? Yeah. You want to do that, Cher? Yeah, that sounds fun. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, listen to me. says that they're the... Oh, I see. I keep losing. I, I click on. I, I don't know. Um, well, anyway, listen to me. Said that they are an expert on the OJ case. Like I am sort of an expert on the um, Jean Benet case, and I do know what you're talking about because we get. Oh, oh, Tammy, 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 hold on. Tammy, hey. my beautiful friend, how are you? I'm okay. Yeah, you're you're amazing. amazing. Good, good, Sorry. good. No, no sorry about what. No, Thank you for getting today. here. Thank you for getting in here. I'm very happy. Um, hi, Tammy. Hi, Cher. How are you today? I'm good. I can't see you this time, but at least you can hear me. <laughs> yes, yes, I can hear you fine. That counts for something. No. Um, but yeah, Tammy, I was talking about how I'm going to have a private detective here on Sunday. And I know you and I were talking about maybe you coming in that day as well. Um, but I would love for her to be able to investigate Nicole Kessinger's alibi for that day, for August Absolutely. 13th. Absolutely. And can you imagine how many questions we would answer, you know, if she finds three people who say, oh, yeah, you know, I, I had coffee with her at 8 o'clock that morning, you know, right. whatever. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be amazing? Um, and then I think that, that that would actually change the course of a lot of different things. Um, of course, you know, it would change the speculation. It would, it would bring everybody back to, um, whatever, or maybe it wouldn't, maybe they'd think, oh, well, no, that person's lying because, you know, they had a, they had an well, agenda. Anything, though, I mean, right. Anything's possible. So sure. even for me, I mean, she could have very well got to work late, made an sure. appearance, you know, but again, there's no way she could have done this by herself. No, there's no way. Cause she's a girl. Yeah. A woman. Um, so she had to have help if she did do it. But again, I think, I think Chris would have, I, I think, I'm sorry, you broke up. Oh, sorry. I don't know what's going on. Um, like I said, everybody thinks Chris physically did all these things. So yes. there's no way she could have done all that by herself. No, there's no way a woman, no, you or I no. couldn't have done it. She couldn't, you know, she shouldn't, couldn't have done it by herself. Right. Um, but I would like to know her whereabouts. And then. Is there, you know, a Jim's whereabouts? Did anyone look into that? You know, I, I don't know that they did. But what I think, though, is when Ellie has their, um, has a list of, pardon me, my makeup is itching under my glasses. Um, when they, when they have a list of suspects, one of the first things they're going to want to do would be to go and look at their alibis. Am I right? I mean, I think right. that would be the first thing they would do. Yeah. 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 And like I said, they have all of that evidence sitting there they've got they the, vomit. Mm -hmm. the vomit they've got the garbage bags they've got all of that stuff but yet they haven't ran any evidence great correct no i know and, and i and I, I i still don't believe they stop investigating because they have a primary suspect who is saying that he did it i think that there would be much more investigation going on and i think they would try to 
and say, well, what about this guy or what about this lady? Did they did they have any part in it? And, right, but right, because what do you think? They we're doing it for Chris. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, sure. No, I know. They found enough evidence and possibly just didn't want to put all of the money and the manpower into doing something that they didn't need to prove anymore because they found proof elsewhere. Right, but I right but on the plea deal itself. I mean, Chris didn't meet the criteria. His his confession does not match the evidence. Correct. It never will. He was just not stop lying about everything. Nothing, his what he's saying will never match because he'll never tell the actual truth on what. No. And I, I, I can only imagine what kind of horrible thing really did happen if he's telling this horrific story right. and that's not even the truth, you know? Right. Um, but remember, and, the story didn't get necessarily horrific until Carolyn Cato's book. Carolyn Cato's book, right, right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right? Oh, Cher, you have so much to say about poor Cheryl. Right? I know. Me too, Cher. Me too, Cher. <laughs> you know, that book is as reliable as that polygraph. Yeah, yeah, and and um, Cher, I guess that uh, Sherilyn was trying to work with her for you know yeah. Rhonda Glover's story, which um, which Rhonda and Cher and I are you know tag teaming on actually right now, but actually more or less Cher and I are doing it for Rhonda. But I guess Sherilyn Cadle wanted a part of that, and you know I don't know. She wanted it so bad, and I got all. She says one thing, and I'm releasing it all. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And I feel, I almost feel sorry for her, but, um, you yeah, know, that's no. me. Yeah. Nope. I yeah. Oh, but I that's me. That. But she, no matter what, she did have the letters from him. Right. Um, and those but were verified. The point is, she had the golden egg in her hand. She did. And completely blew it. She did. Dropped it and rolled down the hill and cracked. Yep. Oh. <clears throat> Absolutely. And if I would have, you know, if I would have had that information, um, I don't know. It would have been a different story with the book that I, you know, turned out. Right, oh, Cher, on my would. phone is definitely dying. So I might lose you, my dear. That's okay. When it happens, I'll just in the chat. Oh, no. I hate to, I hate to, um, yeah, it says that. Hold on. I should have been prepared with a phone charger. Yeah. And we're going to. We're going to go into the low power mode and hope that it actually maintains some sort of, um, where's your charger? It's in, I, there might be one in the other part of the living room, which is around the corner from me, but if it's not there, I'll have to run downstairs or upstairs and look all around this place for a charger, or even go to my bedside table and get behind the bedside table and get the one that I use every night. <laughs> You're like me, there's chargers hiding all over the They're everywhere, but then the kids, we all have iPhones, so everyone runs around and grabs other people's chargers. We're a mess, whatever, <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, we're getting new comments here. Um, uh, Megan, J group link is in my description boxes of my videos. True crime, true, true seeker. I'm losing that. Who are we? Are we talking about J as in J is for justice? I love her. Jennifer. Mm -hmm. I love her. Um, okay. But share, I would love it if you would contact me directly. Okay. Yeah. Are you girls Facebook friends at all? No, I'll find you on Facebook and perfect. Yeah, then you guys could even, um, you know, toll free call through Messenger. But Tammy and I do most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's free. That'll work. That'll work. Um, you know, one of my readers the other night, she uh, called me with the Facebook Messenger and it was the camera one. And I, I just finished putting my mom's one of her air conditioning units into her family room. My hair was all plastered to my head and I had all these dark circles under my eyes or whatever. <laughs> I always feel so bad about that. Um, but whatever. Um, so Tammy, I know, yeah. I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> oh, you look gorgeous all the time though. You know, some people I don't know. need the makeup and stuff, and your eyes are so pretty. Um oh, both you girls are lovely. lovely. I love you. Oh, love you too. <laughs> Cher's still hanging on here. Um <laughs> but now the psychic that I'm gonna have on, on Sunday, we've already talked on um Miss Murder on Bridget's channel about the her psychic impressions. Now, Paula, I don't know if anyone of you know anyone out there knows who Peter Beard is. Um, he was a famous wildlife photographer from in Africa, and he actually dated um, Lee Radswell, um, you know Jackie O's sister, and he was pretty famous among the Grey Gardens set. 
and he passed away. He wandered away. He had dementia. He passed away. I think he was 82. And I called Paula and I said, what are your, they couldn't find him. They couldn't find him, you know, his body or himself being, you know, wandering around somewhere. And Paula uh, told me she sees him being face down on, um, you know, near water, surrounded by a bunch of plant life. And that's exactly how they found him like two weeks later. Um, so Paula, she's very good. She's helped the police before. But anyway, wow. Paula, yeah, she's really good. Um, Paula does not see NK being involved. But, you know, again, she's not 100%. But um, I can't wait to talk to her more in depth. We only had, you know, a little while. And both of us were kind of fumbling, trying to figure out how to do um, someone else's channel at the time. But, yeah, so, I mean, and I know that other psychics have said that she, that NK is involved. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know where to go with that, but I certainly believe in psychic impressions. Oh, me too. And yeah, I do too. And I bet both you girls get get your own psychic impressions from time to time. Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I do too. Yeah, I do too. I can tell by the way you guys are, you know, that you're definitely that kind of, you know, that kind of an I actually impact. have that. Uh, for this week, all this week, I've had two red robins come together to my garden. Oh my goodness. Wow. And yeah, we yeah, have two a of them came in together and they were fluttering around in the dirt in my garden. And instantly I went, Oh my God, Bella and Cece. Do you think so? And yeah, we've had, you know, whenever I see a red Robin, we had one at our old house and um, we bought this house, I think eight years ago now. And yeah. I always thought that it was my dad because it showed up right when my dad passed away. And um, then we moved here and I swear the same exact Robin showed up in my backyard and yeah. we're, you know, like so, three, four you, miles from our old home. Do you guys not get card like an actual red Cardinal? Do you not get them in your area? I haven't seen too many or even any at all. Cher, what about you? I haven't. Well, at the beginning of spring, there was actually one hanging around the peacock cage. My son pointed it out. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, but I know, I can't remember what that meaning was. It was somebody... From heaven. Yeah, really. Yeah. And I can't remember seeing too many around here. So yeah. I don't know if well, I've for even the seen longest any. time, like for the last three weeks, it's been <laughs> one, a bigger one. But all this week, it's been two of them showing up. Oh, how beautiful. Yeah. Wow. I hope it is, Cece and Bella, those poor babies. I, you know, I, how lovely would that be to prove the continuation of their spirits? You know, that is no, amazing. Absolutely. And like I mm -hmm. said, it doesn't matter which side you're on. Not at all. The, no. the point is, is there was not real justice served for Shanann and those babies. Correct. Right. Right. No matter who did it. Um, I mean, yeah. I think Chris is where he belongs and I think yep. he did it. But, let's, um, you know, but let's make them prove it. Sure. And also find out if there was anybody else involved in it. And exactly. I, right. And right now, again, I believe firmly that there was no one else involved. But, you know, if people come up with evidence, of course, I'll admit that I'm completely wrong. And I'll apologize for the fact that I'm so dense with this information. Certainly. No, and if there was evidence in my face proving otherwise, I will eat for dinner. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Me too. Me too. Right. I've said that right. a million times. If you right. can prove that Chris did it and he did all of it, I, I will go on everybody's YouTube and eat crow. Sure, me too. The same way, you know, the opposite. Because I know that a lot of a lot well, of YouTubers. I think we got a live stream, Cam. We got, who's eating crow? <laughs> yeah, there exactly, we go. Exactly. That would be the name of our live stream. We have to do it when we found out more more information. <laughs> absolutely. It better be good. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Absolutely. And like I said, we just need at least open the case run the evidence they have quit hiding behind it definitely who did this right right because like I no, said, I agree. At, at minimum d work took an oath to protect the citizens of colorado he so did. no matter which way you look at this somebody at least had to have helped sure that it's, it's possible but i don't somebody know was in that house while nicole atkinson was at the door that's scary to think about it she really left, is. She left and that garage door got opened. And wow. Chris is at work, so. Okay. <clears throat> was it? Oh. Damn that. I remember that. What are you but, thinking? Yeah, was that, but, it was uh, that 12 garage door opener. If the sensor is like, 
at all in the wrong direction or anything. Any kid toy, anything is like covering that sensor that garage door would close, but then not all the clothes and, and go back open. I've had that happen with my own kids' crap where even like, what the heck is in the way? What is going on? Sure. Right, right. So but the that's point a is, is Nicole Atkinson, Nicole states that garage door was closed when she got there the first time and when she got there the second time, but it opened in between her leaving and going to the doctor. And I know her boy messed with the garage door. I don't right, know how much he could have done. Right. That was at 10 after 12 when Chris answered saying, what are you guys doing? Correct. Right. 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 But it was after she left to go to the doctors to see if Shanann had shown up. So at 1242, she was driving to the doctor. Interesting. I don't know. I, I see. I don't know if her timeline is correct because isn't she basing? Right. I think the timelines are off on some things and it's, it's, even when they do investigations, they're off by a little bit. I mean, right. But if she, if they were the ones that jiggled the door and got it to open, right? Why didn't they go in then? Right. I had my husband listening to our live here. I know mine's in the garage in his man cave. He's watching. That's it. funny. He's watching. Like Kelly? He's working on his grill or on the pool or whatever outside you know backyard but he keeps trying to tune out all of us yeah of course women <laughs> yeah. stuff it's you know crazy women. i know and he you know everything i've been interested in from true crime to um to great gardens to whatever <laughs> he's what? always he always kind of oh whatever <laughs> right i'm lucky to be single so I don't you are single that is correct tammy and i have hubbies which is a wonderful thing but you're you're doing well yourself share being by yourself and you know Matter of opinion. Um, but um, I was going to talk about something. Oh, I know. Does any now, Was anybody out there a member of any of the web sleuth groups groups on the Usenet? Tammy or Sherry, did either one of you belong to any of that stuff? No, I'm, I'm I did talking, way back. We talked about it the other day. Like 20 years ago. Right, you right. The lone wolf or something? Yeah, yeah. I was Wolf Mars Girl. That's a, a funny Mars nickname. Girl. Yeah. And... Um, but I know there was another, there was web sleuths, and then there was another web sleuths. It was called something like Jameson's Web Sleuths. Do you remember that? I don't... Oh, Tammy, you're freezing, hun. I don't know why. I lost audio. I don't know why. I'm back. Okay. Hello. No, but it was. It was um, run by a woman whose last name was Jameson. And I know, again, we were talking about John Benet Ramsey and some other cases that were occurring back then. Um, but this Jameson woman, she was so out to hurt anyone who didn't share her opinion. I remember I went over there and I, I gave some, you know, polite opinions of my own. Um, and they, they basically ganged up on me and I went back to my happy little web sleuths that wasn't run by this woman, but it reminds me so much of what's, you know, what goes on in all true crime communities and everyone ha is so, um, passionate about their beliefs and, you know, I'm passionate about mine, but of course you or I or share, you know, any one of us would bend and accept another, another explanation at the drop of a hat, because all we want is justice for this family. Yeah, that's Period. right. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but I know for me, some of the web trolls have made this their uh, full-time job to come at me. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I don't know, you know, and I've been victimized by web trolls, yeah, too. Exactly, and, exactly. Yeah. For no reason. I mean, you're the loveliest lady ever. So why Oh, thank you. you. Right. So are you. you so know. are you guys. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I try, but um, no, and, and I don't know. I, and I really wish we can get along. Absolutely. And again, I mean, you can imagine, you know, if we were all on a jury together, I know we would get into some heated discussions, but we're not on a jury. We're trying, right. to, yeah, you know, we're trying to come to a conclusion that makes sense and, and provides some sort of justice and that's it. And, you know, also it's like, okay, I don't know if you guys like watch the view or the talk or anything like that. It's almost like that where they are all up there. Right. But we're just on a panel. Sure. You're cutting out a bit share, but I didn't hear the end of it. There we go. Now you're better. Can you repeat what you said? Sorry. I said, it, you know, we're just like a virtual reality of the view. Basically, but we are. Really. That's exactly it, right? A bunch of women talking about their opinions about something that is so important. But 
it shouldn't change what we, we don't think. have to be mean and no we and no we have totally different views on so do i we are able to talk civilly and state our opinion yes exactly opinion. exactly yeah. Like and, even in you know, my in my group, I mean, I've got a chat room in my group of twenty women. Sure. And we've been in there for the better part of a year, and we ne have never had one argument. No, of course not. And that's the way people get along civilly. And I, you know, I appreciate all the comments or, or whatever people send to me. Um, but no, I, I I'm going to continue to be me, and I I don't want to accept another theory unless. And of course, if someone gave me evidence, boom, I'd be all over that. Um, but I, I want us all to get along, you know, including YouTubers getting along with each other and everything. Oh, and YouTube is cutthroat, man. Especially I know. In the true crime world, it's it wow. is cutthroat, and I, I don't know why I've been on almost every one of the, you know, the YouTuber channels, and they're all such wonderful people. I don't know, I don't get it, and I know whatever. Um, but anyway, moving on. Um, so yeah, Tammy or Cher, if either one of you ladies want to jump in. On Sunday, when I have the private detective and the psychic, that would be lovely if you guys want to tune in. Sure, if that's what you oh, want to yeah. do. Thank you. I'd love you yeah. both. Yeah, certainly. And um, again, that's going to be around three o'clock because we want to be able to make our YouTube, YouTube, not YouTube, UK friends be able yeah. to have a chance to watch it and not have to stay up all night. Um, which and is, thank you to JD Sissy for bringing that up so we can make modifications. We love you. Oh, definitely, definitely. Thank you, guys. I'm not seeing everyone. anything in chat, so I'm not sure what was said. No, we don't have. Um, that's right. Yeah, you don't have. You don't open the chat, which is fine. Um, and you know, people who are getting into little arguments here and there in the chat, you're okay. I love you all anyway. <laughs> but um, so yeah, I think I'm going to cut it here because everything is. Um, I've got a lady to call. actually. I have to call the private detective lady. I, I I told her I'd call her after five today. Um, oh, awesome. Thank you girls so much. I love you both. And I really appreciate everything you guys are doing to, you know, come to justice, to bring justice to this family and to others, you know, definitely. I appreciate you both. We appreciate Absolutely. you. I appreciate you. Story. Thank you. Thank you. And, and I want to thank you Cher and Tanya for allowing me to jump in. Oh, we love you. I of love course, you. Yeah, um, I appreciate you coming on. And, you know, I think it's nice. We can be respectful. We have sure, totally we, different views, but that's okay. And we totally disagree, yeah. but we still yeah. love each right. other. You know, <laughs> who yeah. cares? Same as with, I mean, even in my group, my co man, we have different theories and thoughts. But sure. We're adults. We don't attack each other. We don't beat people up no, and, and we all, all that stuff you know but and Tam, I mean, even in the but comments Tam, i am gonna left, hold you one of us is gonna eat crow on a live stream we will we get proven yep. wrong that's for sure i'm perfectly that's willing right. to definitely <laughs> Me too. Okay. Well, girls, thank you again. Thank you, viewers. Thank you. Um, I've got links to just about everything underneath this. Uh, underneath this. Link. All right, I'm out. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you Talk too. to you soon. Share. Thank Bye -bye. you, Tammy. You guys are awesome. Thank you to all the viewers and all my readers. And um, even if you don't, you know, approve of what I'm saying. I am very appreciative that you're actually here. So good night, everyone, and I will see you all on Sunday. Thank you again.